Hey guys, brand new proper life video down in the description. I hope you guys can check it out. Myself, Aviator Gaming, and Ragai Rocky are going to be going into a cryotherapy session. It's gonna be cold. Looks like Amanda has already moved on and found herself a new boyfriend. I would be okay with it if it wasn't that she was dating that jerk bully who just hurt her. I mean, what is she doing? What do I do? just can't believe it, dude. They, they were holding hands. Holding hands in our little greenhouse area. Me and Amanda didn't even hold hands until our second date. Uh, she's moved on and she isn't even thinking about looking in the rear view mirror at me. I mean, what about me? It's kind of, kind of rude what she did. No, it is rude. It's insulting in my opinion. I mean, she can date whoever she wants, but to move on this fast. I mean, come on. And why him? Eddie, I get it. I've already heard all this like six times. I know it sucks that she did this, but don't let it bother you. If you do, then she wins. And so does that jerk bully. Just leave it alone, man. Mm, I can't. I have to talk to her about this. That guy is no good and she's bound to get hurt again. Hopefully only mentally this time. I mean, he pushed her. The guy is a jerk, and she deserves better than that goon. Did you really just call him a goon? Yeah. Why? What? What's wrong with goon? It's, it's just a weird word. I mean, I guess it's a weird word. I've just been trying to broaden my vocabulary. Maybe don't go that far, okay? Mm, all right, you're right. But back to the matter at hand. Amanda has made her choice. Do you really think it's wise to interfere? Especially with a guy like that involved. I'm not interfering for me. I'm doing it for her. I just... I just hope she realizes that. And, uh... You know... Everything goes well. I, I, I come as a friend. Not... Not as an ex-lover. You know what I mean? I come as a friend. All right, here, uh, here goes nothing. She's alone, so hopefully she falls for my threat. Um, Amanda, you need to follow me or, or, or else. Or else what? Either follow me or I'll tell your mother where that $100 bill disappeared to. You wouldn't dare. Oh, try me. Fine. Thank you. Follow me this way. Phew. All right, what do you want? I'm busy. Well, aren't you always? Look, I saw you with him. I, I, I saw it during lunch in the greenhouse. I mean, gosh darn it. What, what, what the hell are you thinking? Don't you remember what that jerk bully did to me? Not to mention what he did to you. He apologized and I forgive him. And his name is Hunter, by the way. Hunter? His name is Hunter? That even sounds like a bully name, Amanda. Hey, I have a nephew named Hunter. Be nice. Oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry. Look, I, I don't trust the guy. You need to be careful. I, I don't know what this guy's capable of, and I don't want to see you hurt. Of course you don't trust him. He isn't you. Look, I'm my own person, and we aren't dating anymore. I can take care of myself. Amanda, I really, really don't want to see something happen. I know we aren't a thing anymore, and, and that's fine. I meant what I said in that text. I, I want, I want the best for you, even if it isn't with me. And gosh darn it, Hunter is not that guy. I'll leave that up to me to find out. Goodbye, Edward. <sighs> well, at least she finally said goodbye to me. I really hope I'm wrong about all this and it's just me overthinking things as usual. I really don't think so this time. I got a really bad feeling about that guy. And gosh darn it, if he hurts her, if he lays a hand on her, I'll make sure he hurts too. Yeah, come in. Hey honey, did you finish your homework and studying? Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, I finished all of it. Good deal. So, how was your day? Any drama from the text you sent? Mm, not, not really. I, I did talk to her today, but it was because of another situation. Oh, and what's that? It was, um, it was about her new boyfriend. Yeah, she's already moved on. Or what I assume will be her new boyfriend. I saw her in that bully hunter holding hands and I confronted her about it. I mean, why in the world would she show that guy the time of day after all the bad things he did? To me and to other people and, well, even to her. Oh, do I hate to hear something like that is happening. Hunter's a pretty troubled kid and the last thing anyone needs is to date that boy. I told her she needs to be careful. That I just want the best for her and he isn't it. Do you think she'll listen? I'm not sure. This mostly will be a life lesson for her to learn. But, but what if he hurts her again? I mean, he pushed her that one time and it was a really hard push. I mean, who pushes a girl in the first place? Especially if you're a guy. If he hurts her, we'll see what can be done. For now, we just have to hope for the best, okay? I'll have teachers keep a close eye on him at school. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. You really loved her, didn't you? Well, I mean, I, I still love her. But she chose another path. I just... I just want to be sure it's the best path. For her. And, well... Everything inside me is saying he isn't it. <laughs> you are so much like your father sometimes, it hurts, kiddo. Well, is, is that a bad thing to be the way I am? Well, it can be at times, but your heart is in the right place. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> Thanks. No problem. I best get downstairs. Dad promised me a foot massage. Oh, well, aren't you lucky? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I am. Good night, Eddie. I love you. Love you too, Mom. Well, good thing Mom is on my side and all the teachers. Hopefully with all them watching, nothing bad will happen. Now, I guess I should actually go get my homework I was supposed to do. That I just told Mom I had already did because... Well, I need to do it. <laughs> All right, let's get that sticking homework. Uh.